Again, I welcome you back to our study in the book of Psalms. We are doing the Ascension Psalms, the going up Psalms to Jerusalem or up the temple steps. And there are 15 of them. So we're just underway. This is number three. And uh, so I want to share with you that this one's all about God is my joy. And so we have a title. Um, here's a little bit of background that's that appears on every one of our psalms, the, the breakdown of the book itself and the theming of it. And then there is introduction that will help us understand this psalm a lot better. And if I can leave you some tools and some keys to understanding uh, Scripture and God's Word, uh, then I will consider that a blessing from the Lord that I've been able to share with you. So here is the background on Ascension Psalms, uh, Psalms 120 and 1 through 134, 15 of them are called Ascension Psalms. In the Hebrew, actually, it literally translate, they are Ascent Psalms, or they just call them the Ascents, the going up. If you open up your Bible, you probably see it might say in small print before you start reading verse 1, a psalm of degrees. All right, that's the ascents. That's the going up, ascending, degrees going up, like a, oh, you just use a negative, the, your fever going up. Or show you, I live in Florida, the temperature going up uh, and getting hot. And so most of the country of Israel, <clears throat> when they would come to Israel, or to, to Jerusalem for the feasts during the year, uh, they would be in lower ground elevation. And so they would come up and they would send into the city. Okay, these songs were sung and still are sung today. And they initially were sung by the Hebrews as they returned from the Babylonian captivity, which was hundreds of miles. Uh, they sang and they sang them and sang them as a journey to Jerusalem yearly for three feasts. And they are quoted and or sung by Levites even today as, uh, well, they don't have the temple steps, but they would sing them in, in anticipation of climbing the steps. And there's 15 steps going up to the temple, one sung per step. And these were, these were sung when Jesus walked the earth. David is the author of this psalm. His name appears in the prescript. And so out of the 15, I believe there's four that we know he did right. And so here's a, a note to share with you and just to help us understand and find our way. Remember, it's about God is, God is my joy. And it was a great joy for the Jews to come up to Jerusalem. And they love their city. And so in this psalm are a lot of places or things in Jerusalem, and they will be highlighted uh, in red. So here's our backstory. I gave you an outline of the five breakout books of, psalm, of all the chapters of psalms. But uh, here are the ascension psalms. And we've seen that God is my deliverer in the first one, and God is my help in the second one. 121, and now God is my joy. And in these nine verses, here is the outline. So there's great joy in Jerusalem. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Okay, these are locations or things, and there's the first one, the house of the Lord, the temple. I was glad I was rejoicing that I had great joy when they said to me, hey, Let's go to the house of the Lord, to the house of Jehovah. Our feet shall stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. This whole psalm is would be energetic. This would be sung with energy. This is not a, a contemplative psalm. Um, this probably did not, the music does not go slowly. This is a time of, of just stomping your feet and having a grand time rejoicing in the Lord. And it says, our feet shall stand. Literally, it means our feet are standing within your gates. And there's awe, O Jerusalem. And they said, we've made it. We've taken our stand here. We're glad to be here. 
And so there's, there's the, the Lord is our joy because there's great unity in Jerusalem. As people come together, Jerusalem is built as a city that is compact together. It, the word compact means we are united. It's a, it's a city that is united and built. Jerusalem is built. It, it literally means it continues to be established. That is a city of unity. So Jerusalem just didn't get built and said, oh, we're all done. Um, they, they would continue and to expand. It's like expansions of cities today. Um, urban areas or suburban areas become urban area, areas over time. And the rural, be, rural becomes suburban. And so there's great expansion over growth and people rejoicing. Whether the tribes go up, the tribes of Israel, the tribes of the Lord under the testimony of Israel to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. The word name is name or God's reputation, who God really is. In this case, God is our joy. The Lord is our joy. For there are, the here's more to rejoice over, for there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Um, and the, there are set thrones, or it could read, do sit thrones, for there do sit thrones of judgment and the thrones of the house of David or David's sons, his ancestors. And uh, judgment means judgment or justice. We understand just, justice a whole lot better because judgment needs to be just, not not out of spite, anger, uh, anything, any political persuasion, uh, or uh, I just don't like you. So then all of a sudden, judgment is not just. But with God, God's house, uh, judgment is just. And then we wrap this one up with three, four verses here. Of, uh, there's just great joy. Uh, God is our joy because there's great prayer for Jerusalem. And this is, this is what we as God's people, even though we're Gentiles that are saved and come to know the Lord, we need to jump in here and be praying for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love you. Ah, if we want peace for us, then we need to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And the word prayer means ask. Ask God. Just say it. Ask God for, for the peace of Jerusalem, that she would be at peace. And uh, the enemies would be quelled around her and within her. And then they, they just blanket statement, they, anyone shall prosper that love you. They shall be at peace. Peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. This is more of the prayer, really, to pray for that. For my brethren and companions' sake, I will now say, peace be within you. Companions are my friends. He said, for my brothers and my friends' sake, I'll pray case they forget may there be peace in your streets jerusalem in your in your locations in your powers of government and just may the land have peace because of the house of the lord our god i will seek your good oh interesting because it is the house of god i go seeking and want the best for the Lord. I'm going to pray for the Lord and that he would bless his people, that he would find his people with good hearts, and he would find a praying people, praying for the peace of Jerusalem. This is a good psalm. And if I can help you in any way, or you have questions or something to add, uh, feel free to email me, and I will appreciate that. And so Psalm 123 is up next, and it'll be another familiar one. And uh, if you want to read it ahead of time, it'll help you a little bit. 
I've been putting one psalm up a week for over two years now. So I'm um, coming into the into the finals here. 150 will be the end, of course. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this psalm. It is a great one of joy. And uh, as Gentiles that have been saved, even though we've been to Jerusalem, we really can't fully understand the joy that your people have when they're in your city. But we can rejoice with them, and we can look forward to Jesus reigning from Jerusalem someday very soon, in which all of us will love the city because we'll be there. And as part of, of your reign and of your people that love you and have been saved through the blood of Jesus, thank you for all you do for us. Give us great joy today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.